Ah, oh, this sucks. Guys, welcome to the channel. So in this video, clearly it's about the Duramax, also about the wrap. Um, we're gonna be taking off the wrap on the Duramax in this video. Also, we got the new wrap in. Here it is. Okay. Well, you guys can't really tell what it is because it's black and white right now. It's not black and it's not white. I can tell you that much. It's not that color either. That's Buford. Um, so first person to guess the exact color. By exact, I mean the exact color that this company that makes this wrap calls it. So it can't be like dark green, light blue, can't be dark red, whatever. It's gotta be the exact color. So first person to guess that, will get one of these Dirty Max key tags. Dirty Max on one side, American flag on the other side. Um, yeah, so take your guesses down below. First person, get that, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this video. Go head on outside real quick, and I'm gonna let you guys know what we're doing today. Pretty much tell by the title of this video, we got some pretty fun things happening. Got some big moves we're making with the Duramax. Um, I can only do so much up here in Michigan. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm up in the UP, Upper Peninsula of Michigan right now. I've been here for the last month or two. Um, I got married like a month ago almost, and uh, I've had an up and down summer, so um, that's why I'm here a little bit longer than than usual. I'm usually in Florida, that's where I live. I live in Panama City, Florida. Um, but we got some big things planned, as you guys see in the wrap in there. And now we are about to start unwrapping my truck. If you guys are somewhat new to the channel, you guys have only seen my truck gray. That's not the real color of this truck. The factory color is like a gold. You guys are used to the gray. I've had gray for like a year and a half now on this truck. It's a it's called gloss dark gray. Taking that off, and we have a brand new wrap inside, as you guys seen. The sun is really good for heating up the vinyl and getting the vinyl stretchier to pull off. Because once it's cold, this stuff is a pain in the ass to take off. It, it gets it gets really like stiff, she said, and then it's really hard to pull off the paint, and it really wears you out quick. So yeah, I got a heat gun for backup just in case we lose the sun behind the clouds for a while. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. It's actually coming off. Like this this material is really thin, especially when it's in the sun. It's got like a, it feels even thinner and easier to work with. But I don't see. I'm doing it one handed too. Okay, so there's a little edge right there. I gotta get up. Okay. I'm gonna knock this panel out real quick and then I'll see you guys here in a second. It's definitely coming along. Got how bad of shape. I wouldn't say horrible shape this paint. You see these little scuff marks here from the fender flares that were on there. Eventually, I'm gonna probably just repaint this whole thing. I'm gonna probably repaint the uh, probably just the fenders. Anyone want pieces of my old wrap? I figured I'd ask. I don't know. All right, guys. Well, this side, this side still has everything. The other side's about halfway done. It is. We're losing daylight. It didn't look like that. Well, we're not losing daylight but it's really cloudy, so um, this is getting a lot more tough to pull, so I'm gonna get out the heat gun here in a second. I probably am not gonna finish this today. The only pain in the ass parts I'm running into right now is the stuff that's like kind of, sorry for the wind noise, the stuff that's like kind of stuck behind the, the taillights, which if you guys know anything about these trucks, boom, boom, it's all it takes to pull these things out, so um, I can easily just do that and get that out, simple. This is the most pain in the ass part. I was able to get this whole thing, all this material out of there without taking the bumper off, which when this thing gets wrapped, I'm gonna have to take the bumper off anyways, which is also gonna be a pain in the ass. Um, 
yeah, this has got to come off too. I'll worry about that here in a little bit. All right, guys, so I have a really good idea now. Um, it's not my idea, it was actually JW Montoya's idea, so thank you, JW. I wanted to run it by you guys. What if we left one side of the truck gold, the other side of the truck gray, like it currently is, and uh, ran with that for a couple weeks until I get the new wrap. I mean, I think it would look cool, it'd be different, it would stand out, um, and it's temporary, so who really cares, right? So let me know in the comments if I should do that. JW Montoya's idea, shout out to you. I like the idea. I kind of thought about doing it similar to that, but um, I would have just left some stuff on, some stuff off. It's gonna look a lot more clean with like a perfectly straight line. I'll show you the picture up on the screen what he was talking about, what he sent me. And uh, yeah, so that looks cool. I'm gonna try to do that for the next week, two weeks or so. As you guys know, my wrap is already here. No one's guessed it yet. I'm sorry for the wind noise, if there is any. I'm on my Canon, should block most of it. I think it'd be an awesome idea. I am almost done with this side. This is done. This door's not done completely. I get that done right up top there, top of this one. A little bit left to go on this door, front fender. And if I do end up doing the uh, half and half, which I plan on doing it now, I really like the idea. But I wanna hear what you guys think in the comments. Should I do it? Um, I gotta find a way to, to cut it down the middle perfectly without cutting into my paint. I know they got knifeless tape, but knifeless tape's used before you lay the vinyl so you can make a perfect line. So I might have to take my chances in using a, a knife and just cutting very, very small areas. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna probably unwrap half the tailgate and then, I don't know, we'll cross that bridge in the next video. But uh, I just wanted to run that by you guys. We are almost done with the with this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this side up because the sun's finally coming out of the clouds. So it's gonna heat this vinyl up for me. I haven't had to, I haven't had to use the heat gun yet, so that's kind of cool. But um, yeah, yeah, a little bit to go, and then we're done. And then the next video, I will reveal the half and half if you guys like it. So I like to let you guys make a lot of decisions on this channel because you are the supporting cast of the channel, and I do really appreciate it. Um, that'll be the next video. We'll go over that. This one is just kind of me showing you the process of unwrapping this thing. It sucks. It really sucks. But. Uh, Oh well, the new wrap coming. First one to guess the color of that, it's the key tag. No one's guessed it yet. And no one's even come close really. And you gotta guess the exact color. You can't just guess like red, blue, green, whatever. You gotta guess the exact color that the company calls it. It's 3M that makes it. It's not chrome, it's not black, it's not gray, it's not white. So those are your hints, it's all the hints you get. Never in my life would I thought I'd consider this color and I'm going with this color. So this truck's gonna be able to pull it off I think really nicely and uh, I am super excited for it. So yeah, that's probably gonna do it for this video, guys. I'm gonna go knock out the rest of this. I wanted to give you guys a little update, and uh, I wanted to, you know, include you guys in this next decision. So um, yeah, if you guys are new to this channel, thank you guys for stopping in. I'd highly recommend you at least consider subscribing. And for all you guys that are already subscribed, thank you guys so much for the support. You guys are amazing. And uh, yeah, I got some big, big things planned. Another huge thing planned this weekend. I'm actually driving about eight hours one way to go get it. And I'm driving eight hours back up here. Um, I'll actually be renting a truck to go get it. I'm not driving this, it's not ready yet to, to roll out. I've got a few things I gotta do to this before I make that long drive home. So I'm leaving this, I'm renting a truck. Um, it's gonna be a video. It's gonna be something that we're gonna have a lot of fun with on the channel. And I don't think anyone's ever done it before. And so, uh, be on the lookout it might be something to do with neighbors it might not be yeah it's something to do with the duramax and also neighbors and also just having fun in general with it so um yeah that's gonna do it guys thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time